and meal plans are required for all students who live on campus, but lately some displeased patrons have taken to cyberspace to discuss their concerns. Ben Runsitong joins us live with the details. Monica, Aramark Limited, or Aramark for short, is the catering company that handles food distribution on campus. Now an online blog has highlighted some issues with Aramark. The removal of meal plan equivalency and accusations of markups at the Fountain Market are some of the more popular topics on the blog. I caught up with Aramark to find out why their prices are so high. This is egg whites with jalapeno, broccoli, bacon, tomato, cheese. Paying for food at Elon. For most students, that means forking over a Phoenix card and using a meal plan. Some students are less than happy with this. To me, the meal plan seems kind of like a ripoff. Some have taken to venting their anger online, setting up both a blog and a Facebook group. I think what people don't understand is, is where all of the, um, the funds go that they do pay for meal plans. Jeff Gazda is in charge of Aramark at Elon and has some explanations for disgruntled patrons. Right off the top, about a third of that is for the university to maintain the facilities, which is why we have uh, nicer facilities and more facilities per capita than pretty much all of our peer institutions. The blog compares prices at Fountain Market with stores like Walmart, where everything is bought in bulk to keep prices low. Gazda says it's not fair to compare a supermarket to a convenience store. We shop and look at our prices. We make sure that we are either same or, or in many cases lower than the true competition. And our true competition are the smaller stores. If this were a retail campus, life would be a lot different. I, I'm pretty sure what would happen is you would probably end up with a, a different look to the services, the hours that we operate the places that we have on campus because everything will be driven strictly by when and where the students are. Students who are unhappy with Aramark can still comment on the blog, but they don't have to be anonymous. Jeff Gaza says his door is always open to answer questions and concerns from students about their dining experience on campus. Guys, back to you.